nostalgia there with the Knight Rider theme. So for the guitar I'm playing a repeated muted pattern so I'm playing um, on a C sharp on 6 on the G string so the chord it's played over is an F sharp so I'm playing the 5th of the chord so, and we're playing a D on seven. And we're alternating between those notes, so. Then we go to the C on five, just once. Back to C sharp three times. So you've got. with the muting at the speed and then you just move that down two frets for, to play over the E minor chord now one thing to watch out for in this song is it normally plays twice like that but sometimes it's a little longer and a little shorter and sometimes you break it off halfway so you play okay so instead of doing that that bit you go straight to the to the E minor lick and um, if you look at the playthrough at the start it's just you just work out where the chords change and where you're going to change from uh, so when it's an F sharp chord you play that one and when it changes to an E minor you, you, you're on that one okay so uh, it's just that pattern and at the end I play just played something like a, a C sharp and a D and I ended with the rhythm guitar on the C sharp here Boom. okay and there's another little rhythm guitar you can hear sometimes in the song just playing you'll, you'll see I put it in there just at the start of the song just just E F F sharp just so it's just leading into the F sharp chord so that's two three four on the D string they also you can hear sometimes it, there's a bit where it goes down so it goes from the F sharp to the, to the E minor just the opposite way 4, 3, 2 ok now I put some chords in and I actually used a keyboard pedal for that a synth 9 but I'll just play them without that uh, just so it's easier to follow ok so yeah the pedal I'm using is an electro harmonic synth 9 pedal which is great fun to play about with and get lots of cheesy keyboard sounds but the, the chords for the song, just um, I'm playing F sharp. And 
to E to E minor. Okay, and it's just those two chords throughout the song, except a couple of times you'll notice there's a couple of little stabs where it goes. Okay. So I'm just going from C to F sharp. So, um, and then also I added another little keyboard bit where I was playing. Again, okay, little. You see that? I'm just playing the G, little slide down. So it may well be done with a pitch wheel on the keyboard. So I'm just playing G to F sharp. 17, 16, 15. Just slide down the fret. And then to get to the E minor, I played. F sharp minor sliding down to E minor. So 16, 14, 14. Sliding to 12, uh, 14, 12, uh, 12. And then there's a bit. Again, I was playing this on the keyboard uh, effect, but I'm playing. You just notice it on the song, on the E minor chord, you sometimes get this. Phrase of F sharp G F sharp E. So on the playthrough, you'll see that coming up occasionally. And, then, and it's also happens before the stabs. So I play E F sharp there, nine to eleven. So I'm playing eleven, twelve, eleven, fourteen. And that. For the main melody, I'm playing. Okay, so I'm starting on an F sharp on 11 on the G string. Then a G on 12, back to F sharp. And then a C sharp on 14 on the B string. And then. I'm now playing an F sharp an octave higher on 14 on the E string. And G again on 15. Back to F sharp. And then back to that C sharp on 14. And then. Okay, then back to F sharp on the G string. So 11, 12, 11. C sharp on 14. And F sharp on 14 on the E string. And an E on 12. And then you've got the same thing again apart from the last note. So you've got. It's just the same. Same. And now. Instead of going down a tone, we go up a semitone. F sharp to G. Okay. And then when it comes back in. Oh, then after that first part of the melody, I did it in a bit of the kind of keyboards when I'm just doing a, a slide from a kind of C sharp, just kind of random slide up to a B. There's a kind of keyboard sound on the record, just kind of slightly imitating that. Just going up the neck, okay, and then I'm back in with... Okay, it's the same again, but just faster. Okay, it's, um, but, um, so it's just a, a, a rhythm change. And then we've got... Uh, so, so the ending is... So I'm just going from C sharp to D. Uh, so that's six, seven, six, then. F sharp, G, F sharp. Seven, eight, seven on the B string. Then C sharp, D, C sharp. Nine, 10, nine. And then end on an F sharp. On 14. Okay, 
So that's the uh, guitar parts. Next we'll take a look at the bass. It's such a simple and classic bass line. I'm playing an F sharp. So I'm just playing that on nine on the A string to E on seven. Okay, back to F sharp. And then the first time after we return to the F sharp, I'm going to a G on 10. And the rest of the song is just those notes, okay? And then, so it slightly changes, and if, the best way to learn this is just to listen to the song or look at the playthrough as to how long you play each one for. So, for example, when the main melody kicks in, it's slightly... You get kind of uh, that kind of rhythm. It's all the same notes, but just how long they remain for, or the gaps between them slightly change. So you always got those F sharp, that E, and sometimes just a few times that G. And there's a couple of stabs where you got when we hit that C chord, ba -ba -ba, that happens twice. So you've got, so just the other, the fourth note you're going to need on the bass is a C on eight. Okay. And on the E string. And the final one, uh, the final bit of the song, it's over F sharp. I'm going, I'm going from F sharp on two to F sharp on nine to F sharp. On 11 so I'm going from 2 on E to 9 on A to 11 on G okay so once you've got those notes um, it's best just to listen to the track and play along okay so uh, great stuff and uh, hope Night Riders out there keeping the streets safe so thanks for watching buddies